I hope that you had a wonderful holidays and since this is the last video in this year it's crazy that the year is almost over um, we are ending this year with a bang with a sexy time between these two tarantulas and also I will update you on this giant fossorial enclosure Before we start just a quick reminder only a few more days are left on the felix plush campaign so in case you want to get your own personal felix a tribute to felix uh, now is basically your last chance because after the campaign ends that's it he will no longer be available so link is in the description go 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 um, for the sexy time i already did that so we are going into that as you know recently i received two mature males from adam and one is Blondino, the Terrafosa Blondie. I know that I said that I will also pair them this year, but then I realized that since uh, Bonita recently molted, I need to give her more time to like harden, eat enough, and generally recover from all the molting process. You will need to be satisfied with these two. And these are Davos Pentaloris, fail and fail. Female and male. <laughs> I just combined male and female in one one word great huh and to be honest i don't think that male got much time left in him because his stance is kind of weird and he is usually clumped up at first i thought that that is because uh, there is not enough humidity so i put a water dish but even after putting the water dish inside of his enclosure he's still acting the same way so maybe he's old i forgot to ask adam how old he is or maybe he didn't handle shipping very well or it could be a combination of those two things so i definitely need to hurry with this and i cannot afford to wait and then risk him dying uh, from natural death the female should be definitely ready you see she is she's pretty fat and i'm hoping that her abdomen is full of eggs uh, i don't remember when exactly she molted but i know that she molted relatively recent like two to three months or maybe even six months although it is hard for me to determine because uh, ever since i got the baby the time just flies by like crazy and i thought before having a baby the time is flying quickly but now it feels like it goes twice as fast it's crazy oh and if you look down there you can still see her old carapace from that last mold so yeah she should be fairly fresh and ready for the haba haba ready for the sexy time yeah yeah from what i observed so far they are kind of feisty species so i'm not sure how how easy it is to pair them and if there are some real chances that female will eat the male because you know whenever you are pairing females whenever you are pairing <laughs> tarantulas there is always a risk that female will try to eat or actually eat the male i had it happen a couple of times more often it doesn't so luck should be on this guy's side although since he is kind of sluggish maybe his performance won't be as good and then she will be like hell no man we're just gonna poke the male inside of her enclosure and see for ourselves and to make that as easy as possible i'm just gonna take his and her enclosure like like this you see so now he got the direct entrance into her enclosure <laughs> this is actually cool i don't know why i never did it like this because it seems like a cool option and you see he's actually already moving a bit on his own he's now pretty close to her webbing so as soon as he touched that he should definitely feel the female's presence although i think they have some other methods of determining a presence of a female nearby because often male will tap when his enclosure is near the female's enclosure so there are probably some other maybe through air smell or something if they can even smell i don't really know oh he is on a move although going the wrong direction and his leg is right there barely touching the webbing you see hoo, hoo, hoo. i'm gonna try this little trick oh there's a webbing you see right through the middle Oh, it looks like he is shaking a bit. Although it was hard to tell if that is just regular shakiness or he's actually shaking as a haba haba sensory activated. Where are you going, buddy? If only your eyes would work, then you would know exactly where you need to go. Because female is this way, you know? This, this, this way. Or I can just simply guide you like this. 
that is the only thing that you understand. Okay, dead. Okay, 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 okay. This is now a danger zone, man. Danger zone. You better start shaking and tapping, or else you are becoming a meal. Hmm. She is stone cold currently. Perhaps I should keep the brush here so I can, like, stop the female if she attacks the male. Although I'm not sure if I will be fast enough. Usually, when females attack, it is like, like BAM! instantaneous and it is all about male's reaction time oh the female is now investigating although without the tapping my girl i assure you he is not the food <laughs> he is here to make some babies so yeah <laughs> oh no, no 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 i need to turn off the water okay Thankfully nothing happened. I had the RO water running, so I need to turn it off manually once the bucket is approximately full. That's why I have the timer, so I don't forget. Since it seems like they are in a standoff, I'm gonna set the camera on the on a tripod and then I can just wait and see, right? Ooh. What, 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 what? I dislike her reaction. It looked like I sense a food nearby reaction. So I will try to protect him. Oh, I could definitely see his leg shaking, but only slightly, only slightly. He's not tapping. Yeah, his whole body is now shaking. Great, great, great. Girl, calm down. You can also start to tap. Jean-Louis, come on. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This doesn't look good. This definitely doesn't look good. I'm not really sure if she tried to attack him or not, but she definitely uh, approached quickly and then it seemed like he panicked and just... <laughs> I don't know, I will need to see the footage, but... Uh, I'm not optimistic about this. Let's wait a bit more. Guys, I think that this is not happening because as soon as the female starts to move, the male just runs away. Perhaps that is just how they do their business, but really I'm currently not confident to carry on with this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move male back inside of his enclosure. I'm gonna close both of their enclosure and let the enclosure sit like this. So they can still feel each other, but they cannot obviously reach each other. And in the meantime, I will try to check out to see if there are some tips with breeding these species and if there is anything special for them. And after that, we will try it once more. So time jump. Oh, no, 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 no. I need a cup so I can cup the female because she's definitely aggressive towards the male. Okay. Now you can go back inside of your enclosure. See, <laughs> he's so, <laughs> so twitchy. Uh, now we can do a time dump and a week has passed, approximately a week. And you see the male has made another sperm web over there while the female, <laughs> look where she is. She actually went behind the background. What the hell? What is this? She never did that and now she needs to do that. During the week, I noticed that both female and the male were standing in close proximity to each other in the front. So I think that they could feel each other, but I'm not really sure because I didn't notice any, any tapping or anything like that. Now I'm gonna do the same thing, but the doors will be open, so male can just venture inside of female's territory. But he will be able to do that on his own turn, because I will set the camera to record what is happening. And I won't be pushing the male or female or anything like that. I will just leave them to do their stuff. Male will have plenty of space to escape if something bad is happening, so yeah, we will see. One goes over there, and this enclosure lid is on they just go like hmm there is now actually a big gap over here i will need another lid to close that because i'm pretty sure that the male would be able to squeeze in between and we don't want that so i will just push this lid and we can close this gap with this perfect now all that it is left is to wish this guy some good luck so 
Good luck, my man, and let's go into a time lapse. So that was the time lapse, but I'm really not sure if that was successful or not. There was a lot of activity and the male was going in and out of her enclosure and also the female was entering his enclosure constantly, so they were moving around a lot and I noticed that the male was shaking in the time lapse, but the unfortunate thing is in the time lapse everything goes on really really like super quick so i wasn't sure if there was some when they had those brief contacts i'm not sure if anything happened because uh in the time lapse everything just went like and that's it the male was just running like crazy although later in time lapse you can see that the male is approaching the female and she is not really uh, reacting or chasing him or anything like that and i didn't really spot female shaking or tapping in the time lapse so it is really hard to tell, but I noticed one interesting detail. You can't really see it now, I need to move him a bit. But, come on dude, can you move a bit? Yeah. You see that the male is lacking one pedipalp actually. Only left one is present, you see, and I checked the footage when I unboxed him and there he had both pedipalps. So that means sometimes when all of that happened, he lost the pedipalp. Although I should check the footage. I didn't really check the footage when I started recording this video, so I don't know if he had a pedipalp when we started the sexy time, but I will see it once I will edit this video. So in the end, only time will tell if this was successful or not. The female is super plumped as she was at the start of the sexy time, so maybe she is in the pre -mold and that's why she never really gave any indication of being ready. But if my memory serves me well, I think that she didn't mold for more than like four or five months ago and that is not that much for an adult spider or maybe she's not an adult i mean sh she should be an adult for sure it will either be that she molted or that she made an exit there is really no third option okay now let's address this enclosure and let me move this off the table i'm super happy that all of you that watched that video the uh, previous video where i showed you this enclosure all of you were super positive and super excited about this video just as I was excited making it and recording this video and preparing it for more than a month so it was definitely worth it uh, there were a couple of concerns questions that I will now address let me just check the the notes ah yeah the first concern basically the main concern all of you are wondering if there's a chance that the, the tunnel will collapse and there is one simple answer i'm not really sure i think from my experience i never had a tarantula tunnel collapsing in any of my enclosures even though i never of course had an extreme case like this one where the tunnel is so deep but still the principle is the same you can kind of see it here really good you see there is like a tiny layer of silk and that is basically how the entire length of the tunnel is secured she's not just digging the tunnel she's also laying her silk to make sure that the tunnel is more secure is that enough again i'm not certain i never did anything like that so the time will tell of course but so far so good 
There were also questions in regards to humidity and that the substrate looks dry but yeah on top this one is dryish but even that top layer of substrate got certain humidity while as we go down the humidity actually increases and maybe you cannot see it but the substrate down here is a bit darker than the substrate down here and still I will moist the top layer and the result of that will be that all of that humidity will I mean some will evaporate but majority of humidity will go down in the substrate falling down 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 deeper I can actually show you in the other enclosure where it is actually starting to be a, a bit of a problem you know the first fossorial enclosure I have a problem with it because this plant that I have inside requires a lot of watering and when I'm watering the the plant the top layer all of that humidity goes down and now you can clearly see that the substrate down here is on the verge of being too moist so that's why I'm now misting a bit less which of course means that the plant is now not growing as it originally did you see these yellowish leaves are the result of that but I really need to cut down on moisture just because a lot of that moisture just goes down and there is no way to go out ideally I should have the drainage on the bottom but the problem is when you have a fossorial tarantula she will just dig inside of that drainage so maybe in the future I should have like a bottom glass panel with some holes so that way the excess moisture can just drain out of the enclosure of course that then means that I should have like some sort of plate underneath some uh, complicated stuff but we will see how that will develop in this enclosure as I said in that previous video it is an experiment I have no idea uh, if this will work as I'm thinking it will work but so far so good it is really really sweet and I think that there were some other questions just, just let me just remind myself ah yeah of course uh, in previous video I was talking that I should make like some sort of covers on the enclosure but I wasn't sure how to secure it on the actual glass so a lot of you said velcro and of course how I didn't figure that out by myself but now I'm thinking some other thing maybe even simpler and more effective you know I can just make these these panels are already cut on the dimension I can just make like a box just like this and that box will just hold on its own and I can just slide it out like this so yeah let me do that now <laughs> since I already cut the panels on the required dimensions it will be super quick all I need is just a little bit of super glue and that's it it is perfect for these plastic panels hmm the only problem is I don't want to glue it on the glass but it shouldn't adhere to glass as it is adhering to plastic so we will see <laughs> okay yeah I can remove it and also you see it cures super quick so one side is complete now this back side this is almost like siliconing the glass <laughs> oh it actually adheres to the glass oh no okay okay as I said it bonds with plastic much better than with the glass so I managed to remove it but you see now what is the idea let me just turn the enclosure the town goes from here to here to here so I just take this and slide it like Ta-da! and now it is all covered everything is covered the tarantula's hide is no longer exposed only this small section but it doesn't matter because all the rest so it goes from here to here from here to here and then it ends here with that big chamber also what I noticed she actually dug two chambers this bottom one is of course super obvious because it is the last thing on the tunnel it is much thicker than the rest of the tunnel because you see this chamber is like this big then you have a narrow tunnel so a clear difference but if we turn the enclosure this first section also seems like not the tunnel but a chamber because if you look inside you can clearly see that all of this is much wider than the tunnel that continues out of that chamber the tunnel that goes from this area you see how narrow that is it is much narrower than this area this this area is much wider so I think that at first she thought that this will be her chamber but then she noticed that, that she can just continue digging down and that's why she just continued to dig down or maybe they just do this in nature they actually make a couple of chambers and not everything is just a straight tunnel so who knows 
who knows i should definitely make a couple more enclosures like this and put more burrowing species to see if they will also do something similar like that or something completely different potential experiments for next year for sure so i hope that you enjoyed this video uh, have a wonderful year because this is the last video as i already said see you in next year um, thumbs up comment something get yourself a personal felix um, yeah nothing else to say thanks for sticking around bye, -bye.